season replays, the fantasy drafts, ultimate creative leagues, and what if the tournament? It's Coffee Cup Games with the coach, DKM. But before we jump in, just going to ask you guys to take a quick second. Just click that little thumbs up right there and like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I always appreciate when you guys leave comments. I always try to answer all of them if there's questions in there. But if you have any suggestions, recommendations, or just some thoughts, um, I love to be able to see what you guys have to say. So with all that being said now, let's jump into the Home Run Derby. And the field that I uh, chose in my uh, just random pick was the Washington uh, DC's Nationals Park where obviously the Washington Nationals play. Uh, it's going to be an afternoon game. The thing that's nice about this is it does not favor either righty or lefties, especially since uh, Prince Fielder hits from the left. His father um, Cecil hits from the right. Prince Fielder up to bat first. Here's the pitch. He's going to hit a ball in the right field. That's going to be an out. He now takes this one in the center field. That one's going, going, and gone. Dead center for Prince Fielder. Here's another shot. This one's into the right field stands for a second home run. And now he's going to take another one in the right field. Will it be enough? It is not. Not going to make it into the bullpen out in the right field. Just going to hit the fence. So that'll be his second out. And now he's going to hit a shot again toward that and this time it does make it into the bullpen that'll be his third home run so far this inning here's another shot down the line not going to be far enough in right field that'll be the third out but prince fielder jumps up early with three home runs here's his father cecil the right hander is going to pull the ball in the left center home run number one he now goes opposite field into right center that's going to be a second home run. And now he pulls it down in the left field. Will it be long enough? It is home run. And now here's a fly ball in the left center. That's going to be shallow. That's going to be an out. But Cecil Fielder starts off with three home runs before getting his first out. Now here's another shot. This one might have the distance, and it does. Four home runs for Cecil Fielder. And now here's a fly ball on the left. That's not going to be long enough, so that'll be a second out. And now here's a shot again in the left field. Again, not long enough. That'll be out number three. So after one, it is Cecil the father beating his son four to three. Prince Fielder's now up. He's going to go opposite field in the left field. And it's not going to be long enough as it makes it to the wall. But it's not going to carry. So one out. Here's another shot. This one's going in the center. Not going to be far enough. Two down. And now he pulls this one down the line and right. But that's not going to do it. So one, two, three. And now the elderly fielder is up. Here's Cecil. He's going to fly ball into left field. One down. Here's another shot in the left field. Still around the same distance. So he's 0 for 2 in this inning. And now he's going to take another one. So both Prince and Cecil are one two three with no home runs so we go to the top of the third prince fielder's not going to take this one in the right center there's no doubt about that one that will be a home run now he goes opposite left center field that'll be a second home run and now he pulls this one down the line will it stay fair it does home run number three and he still doesn't have an out in the third inning and now he's going to pull one will it have enough distance in right field and it will Home run, number four. Prince Fielder now hits one in the left field, and that one's going to carry. So that'll be five home runs in a row to start off the third inning. Prince Fielder now hits one into right center. Home run, number nine for his total. And now he's going to hit a ground ball to second, so that'll be his first out in the third inning after getting six home runs. And now he's going to hit a fly ball to right. That's going to be an out. And now there's another fly ball to right. So after six straight home runs, he gets three straight outs and leads nine to four as we enter the bottom of the third. Here's Cecil Fielder. He's going to go opposite field, and it will not make it over the wall as it hits the wall about three feet from the top. Cecil Fielder now pulls this one in the left field. That's going to be really shallow. That's going to be an out. And now he's going to hit a line drive to short. 
So a one, two, three inning for Cecil Fielder in back-to-back -back innings. And now we enter the fourth inning with Cecil Fielder trailing his son nine to four. Here's Prince Fielder. He's going to hit a ground ball to first. That'll be one down. And now here's a crushing line drive down the line and right. Stays fair. Home run. Prince Fielder's now going to hit a fly ball down the line, but this one's not going to have enough height. That'll be an out. And now he hits another one down the line. I'm not sure if that's going to stay fair. It does not. And so that'll be three outs, one home run in the inning, bringing Prince Fielder's home run total to 10. Here's Cecil. He goes opposite field. That one should be enough, and it is home run number one. And now he goes left center field. That'll be a home run. So he's gotten two quick home runs to get it to 10 to 6, and now he's going to hit a fly ball on the left that will not be far enough. One down. And now here's another fly ball on the left. That's going to be close to the warning track, but not deep enough. Two outs. And now he gets a shot in the left field. That should be enough. And it is as it just gets over the fence. Three home runs as he has cut his lead in half in this inning. And now he hits a fly ball into left field. And it is a home run. Just getting over the fence. He is now down by two. And now he hits a shot into left field. That won't be enough. But after four, Prince Fielder still leads his father 10 to eight. Prince Fielder is up. The left-hander is going to hit a ball into right center field. That's going to be a home run. And now he's going to pull this one into right field. That'll be a home run. And now he's going to hit a ground ball towards second base. That's going to be an out. And he's going to follow it up with a fly ball into right field. That will not be long enough. So that'll be a second out. Here's the pitch and the swing and another fly ball into right. That won't do it. So he's going to get through the fifth inning with two home runs, bringing his total up to 12. And he leads by four. Here's Cecil Fielder. Cecil hits the ball into right field and it just gets over the fence. That'll be a home run. And now he hits the ball into left center. No doubt about that one. That'll be his second home run and he gets the lead back to two. And now he's going to hit a ground ball to short. That'll be an out. And now he's going to hit a fly ball down the line in the left field. Will it be enough? And it is. That stayed fair and meant well into the stands. He now only trails by one home run. And now he hits a ball into the air. That's going to be a pop-up towards short. And that's going to be an out. And now here's a line drive into left field. No doubt about that one. That's into the stands. He has now tied his son with 12 home runs. And now here's a fly ball into left field. That'll be an out. His third. As after five innings, the score is 12 to 12. Between the fielders, the father and the son, and now the son is up. Prince Fielder is going to hit a fly ball into right. That's not going to be far enough. That'll be an out. Now he's going to hit a line drive into right field. That'll be a second. And now here's a shot into right center. That will be far enough. That'll be a home run. And now he's trying to hit that ball to right field, and it will not carry. So that'll be three outs. Prince Fielder adds one to his home run total. Cecil Fielder is now going to take one well high into left field. That one clears the park. What a shot by Cecil Fielder. And he's going to follow it up with a shot to center field. That will be a line drive. That's going to be his first out. And now he hits a ball into left field. This one again is crushed all the way to the back of the stadium. That is going to be a blast. Two home runs. And now he's going to hit a little lazy fly ball into the shortstop. That's going to be two down. And with two outs, he's going to hit a ball into right center field. That will be a home run. So now Cecil Fielder leads by two. And he's going to hit a ball into left center. That will be a home run. Number 16. And now he's going to end the inning with a fly ball to left field. So since the third inning after Prince Fielder put up six runs, Cecil Fielder has regained his lead and now is up over his son, 16 to 13. Prince Fielder not going to let his dad get the best of him as he crushes one into the upper deck into right field. He's trying to make sure his dad knows he's still in this one. Now another huge fly ball into right center. That is two back-to-back -back shots where he has absolutely crushed it. 
And now he's going to go opposite field, and he's going to hit another long fly ball. Three huge blasts by Prince, and now he's going to hit one down the line. Will it stay fair? And it will not. Just foul. That's going to be his first out as the game is now tied, both with 16 home runs. And now he's going to hit a fly ball into right field that will not have enough height. So that'll be a second out. And now he's going to hit one again in the right field. This one's going to be much more shallow. That is not going to be home run. But now it is all tied as we enter the bottom of the seventh. Cecil Fielder trying to get his lead back in. He's going to hit a ball into left field. It will not be far enough. It hits the wall. That's going to be an out. Unlucky. And now he hits the one in the left center. He's not going to leave any doubt about that one. That is quite a shot into the stands and now he's going to hit another one in the left center another huge shot that'll be two home runs and he now leads by two he goes opposite field into right that's not going to be far enough though close to the warning track his second out and now he's going to hit a ball in the left field that will be his third out but we enter the eighth inning cecil fielder big papa is leading his kid uh, by two home runs Prince Fielder's now up. He's going to hit a shot into right field. That just gets over the fence for a home run. He trails by one. He now hits one down the line, and it will stay fair just inside the pole. It is all knotted at 18. Prince is now going to go into left center. Will it carry? And it will not be far enough. That'll be out number one. He now pulls this one in the right field. That'll be not far enough. That'll be a second out. And now he's going to hit a ball into center field. He has destroyed the leather off of that one. He now leads 19 to 18 with a huge shot in the dead center. And he's not done yet as he puts another one in the right center this time. Four home runs in the inning. He now leads by two. And he's going to end the inning with a fly ball to center. Prince Fielder leads by two over his father as he... His father, Cecil, is now up in the bottom of the eighth. Cecil Fielder is going to hit a shot, a big shot in the left field. That is going to be no doubt about it, a home run. And now he's going to hit a very shallow ball just over the infield. That'll be an out. And now he's going to hit a fly ball in the left field. That won't do it. So he trails by one with two outs in the eighth inning. Cecil Fielder is going to answer with a shot in the left field. That's going to be in the stands. It is now all tied. Man, this is a great game. And now he hits another one in the left center. This one just makes it into the bullpen over the fence. He now leads by one. This has been back and forth. Cecil Fielder is now going to hit a shot in the left field. Will it carry? And it will. Four home runs to match his son and regain the lead by two. And now he's going to hit one in the left center. That's going to be not far enough. We enter the ninth inning. Cecil Fielder, the father, is leading Prince Fielder, the son. 22 to 20, top of the ninth. Prince Fielder's last chance to stick it to his old man. And he's going to hit a shot into right center to start off with a home run. He is down by one. He needs one more to tie. Here's a fly ball. It is a screamer, but it is just a liner. Not going to be far enough, though he hit that one plenty hard. And now he hits one in the left center. It's going. It's going, and it is going to be gone. Tie game, 22 apiece. Prince Fielder is now going to pull the ball to right field. That's not going to be far enough. That's going to be an out. So with the game tied, two outs in the ninth, Prince Fielder has one more shot before his last out, and he's not going to do it. That will be his third out, so it's going to be up to Cecil Fielder, who needs one home run to let his son know he's still the man of the house. So here is the big pitch. Here's the big swing, and that's going. It's going, and it's gone. On the first swing in the bottom of the ninth, Cecil Fielder takes care of business and sends that one over the left field stand. That was actually a lot of fun. Really enjoyed that matchup. Uh, both guys put up a lot of home runs. It was very much a back and forth game. But at the end of the day, 
the father is still the man of the fielder household. Uh, Prince is not able to overtake his father. Cecil takes care of business in the bottom of the ninth inning where the game was tied and he immediately steps up, puts a home run into left field, and that was all it was. And that's all she wrote. So, hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was actually pretty fun. Um, but until next time, this is Coach TK. Hope you guys have a good one. Bye.